Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 710, O God, Almighty Father. <clears throat> o God, Almighty Father, Creator of all things, the heavens stand in wonder, while earth your glory rings, O most holy Trinity, undivided unity, holy God, mighty God, God immortal, be adored. O Jesus, word incarnate, Redeemer most adored, all glory, praise, and honor to your sovereign Lord. O <coughs> most holy Trinity, undivided unity, holy God, mighty God, God immortal, be adored. O God, the Holy Spirit, who lives within our soul, send forth your light and lead us to our eternal goal. O most holy Trinity, Undivided unity, holy God, mighty God, God immortal, be adored. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus, be with you. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us to strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who filled the priest and martyr St. Maximilian Colby, with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and with zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant through his intercession that striving for the glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even unto death to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God ask of you but to fear the Lord your God and follow his ways exactly, to love and serve the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul, to keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord, which I enjoin on you today for your own good. Think. The heavens, even the highest heavens, belong to the Lord your God, as well as the earth and everything on it. 
Yet in his love for your fathers, the Lord was so attached to them as to choose you, their descendants, in preference to all other people, as indeed he has now done. Circumcise your hearts, therefore, and be no longer stiff-necked. For the Lord your God is the God of gods, the Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who has no favorites, accepts no bribes, who executes justice for the orphan and the widow, and befriends the alien, feeding and clothing him. So you too must befriend the alien, for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. The Lord your God shall fear, and him you shall serve. Hold fast to him and swear by his name. He is your glory, he <clears throat> your God, who has done for you those great and terrible things which your own eyes have seen. Your ancestors went down to Egypt, 70 strong, and now the Lord, your God, has made you as numerous as the stars of the sky. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. God has called us through the gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. The Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may further live and leave proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. As Jesus and his disciples were gathering at Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him, and they will raise him on the third, and I will be raised on the third day. And they were overwhelmed with grief. When they came to Capernaum, the collectors of the temple tax approached Peter and said, does not your teacher pay the temple tax? Yes, he said. When he came into the house before he had time to speak, Jesus asked him, What is your opinion, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take their tolls or census tax? From their subjects or from foreigners? And when he said this, from foreigners, Jesus said to him, then the, sem the subjects are exempt. But that we may not offend them, go to the <clears throat> sea, drop in a hook, and take the first fish that comes up. Open its mouth, and you will find a coin worth twice the temple tax. Give that to them for me and for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
We've been hearing the last few days from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses has gathered the people together for a final address. He's about to die. They're about to cross into the promised land. And he recalls all the magnificent things that God has done for us. Talks about the creation of the universe. He says, look at it all. Oh, God created the heavens and the earth and the sky and so on. And he has chosen us to be a special people. And uh, because he has chosen us to be a special people, we should keep the commandments and show our love for God uh, by observing the commandments and following in his footsteps and turning away from wickedness and sin. And on and on he goes. And, um, and he tells uh, the elders to instruct the youngers and the young people and tell them all the great things that God has for them. How he led them out of Egypt and slavery, how he gave them the law in Mount Sinai. And he says, what other people is that has a God so close to us that he speaks to us in person? And a God who gave us such uh, wonderful laws and commandments. Uh, and so we should always remember that and be mindful. And certainly those words ring true for us today too. Um, Moses looking at the heavens and the earth and in admiration. Today through the James uh, Webb Telescope and through Hubble that's still in space, we learn just how vast and incredible the universe is. And then to think that the God who created all that took on human form, and not only that, he lives among us, he comes to us in the Eucharist, and he died on the cross for us. Moses couldn't even begin to think of something like that, that God would be so close to his people. And yet so often, unfortunately, we take God's presence for granted, we take his love for granted, sometimes we hardly even notice or are grateful. So we're always reminded every day as we come here to celebrate the Eucharist of the great things God has done for us through the readings of Scripture and then through His presence in the Eucharist and inspired by the Holy Spirit, hopefully to recognize His love for us and then go out and share it with others. Today we have the excellent example of Father Maximilian Kolbe, who spent his life in love and service of the Lord. Already as a very small child, he had a vision in which Jesus offered him one or two gifts. He could yet have had the virtue of chastity and holiness or that of martyrdom. And rather than chose, he selected both. In Auschwitz in 1941, uh, the law of the camp was that if anybody escaped, 10 prisoners would uh, die in his place. And 10 men were selected after the whole uh, prisoners are standing outside all day long, and then 10 were selected to be locked in a small room and starved to death. And one man was screaming for mercy and saying he had a wife and family that would need his support after the war. And Father Maximo Kobe stepped forward and volunteered to take his place. And um, from uh, the cell where the men were locked up, um, instead of hearing cursing and swearing, as they often heard from other cells, uh, they heard people praying and singing praises to God and so on. And finally, after about two weeks, they opened the doors and Father Maximilian was just barely hanging on to life and another prisoner, and they were injected with something that, that put him to death. Um, at his canonization, uh, the man whose life he saved uh, was present and gave him testimony. So he truly is a great example of love for his fellow neighbors, hopefully in some small way. We can show our love for God by doing this little acts of kindness for those around us. So with that in mind, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, help us to realize how truly awesome you are and how incredible your love for us is. Aware of your great love and Christ's presence in the Eucharist, help us to reflect his love and kindness and forgiveness to others by what we say and do this day. Grant us this, Lord, and the favors we ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop George Lucius, and for all prisoners of the Archdiocese of Omaha, that we may grow in love of Jesus Christ, present in the Eucharist, and strengthen his presence, reflect his love to others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our parishioners, that by working together to build a parish center, we may draw closer together as a parish family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who heal ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. 
and for all who have died, that they may know the joys of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For young men and women, that they may discern God's calling them to a life of service to the church as priests or religious, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in thanksgiving for the rain we have received, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now let us pray for all our unspoken needs that we hold in the intentions of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for all the people whose lives are devastated by the horrible fires in uh, Hawaii. For those who lost loved ones, lost everything, we pray to the Lord. Lord. We're asked to pray for Rena Staroska, who died in Omaha yesterday. We pray to the Lord. Lord. We offer this Mass this morning for Anthony Nicolite. We pray to the Lord. Lord. O oh God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We present our oblations to you, O Lord, humbly praying that we may learn from the example of St. Maximilian to offer our very lives to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. By his suffering, he has canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, 
that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and blemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all those who are holding to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all who are gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offered for themselves and for all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, the hope of health and well-being, and paying homage to you, their eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Lord Jesus Christ, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and martyrs, blessed Maximilian and Colby, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. And therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service and that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we deliver from eternal damnation and count them in the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased with God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks and praise, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of life and eternal salvation and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and accept them as you once were pleased, accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hand of your holy angel to your altar and high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son and may be filled with every grace and every special blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, who hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Isidore, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not we in our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. And let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Let us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the old human takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are others called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in making a pure spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe in our presence in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you are already there, unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 335. Taste and see. Taste and see. Taste. 
Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord, of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall always be on my lips. My soul shall glory in the Lord, for he has been so good to me. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord, of the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that St. Maximilian received uh, from this holy banquet through Christ our Lord. Loving Father, we come to you in adoration. May our hearts be open to your guidance on this journey. You have bestowed in your church community the gift to openly worship and praise your name. We humbly give thanks for the opportunity to serve you with our gifts and talents. Jesus, pour out your Holy Spirit as we gather in prayer to build a faithful prairie center for all generations. Most sacred heart of Jesus, Jesus, pray for us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Isidore, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to glorify the Lord by your works. Thanks be, be to God. God. Final hymn is number 709, All Praise and Glad Thanksgiving. All praise and glad thanksgiving to God the Father be, the font of all things living, He reigns eternally. Praise to God forever be, one in life in persons three, mighty God, saving God, God eternal Trinity. Christ
Christ Jesus, we adore you, the Son of God most high. With saints we sing before you, who came for us to die. Praise to God forever be, one in life, in person, spree, mighty God. King God, God eternal Trinity, O Holy Spirit blessing to you who reigns on high, your wondrous gifts confessing, church who sends your life. Praise to God forever be, one in life, in person, free, mighty God, living God, God eternal. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father. Today's morning mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.